my way through the Yves Montaigne uh, theme on Filmstruck because I'm, I'm sucked in now. So uh, tonight I, I followed uh, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever with uh, his second film, Le Porte de la Nuit, which is also known as Gates of the Night. It's directed by Marcel Carney. The first time I saw a Marcel Carney film was uh, Children of Paradise. I saw it at the Castro Theater in San Francisco, and they literally turned into a puddle when it was over. Like, a puddle. So, I was expecting this movie to be equally as sad. It came out right around the same time. It was not as sad. It's still really fucking sad and has another one of those, like, oh my god, the world is horrible endings. Um, <laughs> Spoiler alert. But it's not as sad. Um, and mostly because it's um, it's this sort of, it's, it's all in one night and you see all these different stories of these different people in this like slum neighborhood in North Paris right at the end of World War II. Like the war hasn't quite ended, but it's almost ended and they're sort of trying to go back to normal. And you follow along with all these different, um, the city's been liberated. And you will follow along with all these different uh, people sort of dealing with the, the aftermath of the war. You have a widow. You have people, friends seeing each other for the first time in years, etc., etc. And there's a man who flo is floating around who, tells, who plays the harmonica and he tells everyone he's destiny. And he's like warning people that they're going to die or that they're going to meet the love of their life or like all kinds of things. Um, but all of his warnings come. He's like... He's like the Grim Reaper kind of, 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 of destiny. Like, things are not... If you run into him, your destiny is shit. Because he's just telling you all kinds of terrible things that are going to happen. Um, it's a beautiful film. I, I definitely uh, cried about halfway through the film. There's a sequence with uh, Imantan and... What is her name? Uh, uh, where'd it go? Nathalie Nassier that like was so beautiful it's before it got sad it's just romantically so beautiful that I was like woo and um Carne always has these amazing camera movements that like swoop through crowds and things and as it's moving you're just like I'm in this world and it really is what I love so much about cinema it's that kind of of cinema that makes you feel like you're part of what you're watching rather than just watching like from a distance and I think he's really great at that as a filmmaker this one was shot by Philip Angostino and I think he also filmed let's see he also filmed Children of Paradise let's see he didn't also film Children of Paradise but he filmed a lot of things like Le Pizier and um oh all kinds of stuff wow okay Rififi, shot Rififi, um, just a beautiful film, early Yves Montaigne, they use the song Autumn Leaves over and over, it will make you cry, pretty much everything about this film will make you cry, it also, it's interesting to note that at this time, um, they were calling American films film noir, but like a little bit later, right, and it's generally considered like 1946 American films are the beginning of film noir, even though there's some earlier films that are um, sometimes counted. Uh, but the, basically that post-war film noir era starts in 46 in the U.S. We have a film like this that has a lot of moments that are reminiscent of film noir and is, has that same sort of post-war malaise. And there's no, like, femme fatale or detective, but everyone's doomed. Everything's gloomy. Um, there's high contrast lighting. Like, it feels like a film noir, even though at this point, there's no way in hell Marcel Carnet has seen any of those those films from America. Um, so it's interesting to see how similar filmic techniques sort of arose at the same time in different countries without them knowing each other's single tier. Single tier. Um, so I, this is a great film. You should watch it. It's on Filmstruck right now in the Montaigne theme, but it's also a Criterion film, so you can probably watch it on the Criterion side. There's a Criterion disc. Pretty much, you can find this film, and you can cry. Also, because it's a one-night romance film, it would, a bittersweet one-night romance film, it would make a great double feature 
with uh, Visconti's White Knights, if you are Le Mionti Bianche, um, if you want to, like, lose your entire, like, mind and just cry for another, like, four hours after you've watched the two films, that would be a great double feature. Um, so this was Marcel Carnet's uh, Les Portes de la Nuit, also known as Gates of the Night. It made me cry. I give it two thumbs up and many single tears. So uh, have a good night.